Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do the five number summary and the box and whiskers. Now the five number summary is made up of the lowest amount, then it's made of the Q1 which is the lower quartile, we got Q2 which is the median, and then we've got Q3, which is called the upper quartile. And last, we got the highest amount. Now, if we look at our previous video, to get the highest amount, lowest amount, Q1, Q2, Q3, we basically use all the measurements of dispersion. If we take the following data, we clearly got Q1, as 31, our Q1 was 31, our Q2 was 34,5, our Q3 was 45, and then our lowest mark was 21, and the highest was 49. 21 and the highest was 49. So when they want a five number summary, all they're asking you to do is rewrite the information in a clear form. But after you do that, they then want you to do a box and whiskers. Right, when you are doing a box and whiskers, a box and whiskers is always done on a number line. Now the most important thing is that you need to make sure that it is done on a number line. Many children go and they draw the box and whiskers but they have no measurement. They, they just randomly draw what they feel like where they want to. You have to clearly have your values. Can you see how I've got it here? I've drawn a number line. I've got 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now, you don't always need to start at 0. If I wanted, I could have started at 15 because my lowest number is 21. You could have even started at 20 and it would have been quite accepted. But you have to have a measurement. You can randomly draw as you want. Now, on the lowest and the highest, we're going to put dots. So, on 21, I'm going to put a dot. And then on 49, I'm going to put a dot. Then on your Q1, which is 31, you're putting a line. Then, so 31, I put a line. Then on 34,5. So we've got 34,5, it's around here. You're putting a line. And then on 45, we're putting another line. Now, how do we do our box and whiskers? You're basically drawing a box here. And the whiskers is going out to your lowest and your highest. And that is your box and whiskers. Now, you don't need to have this drawing. Let's say you didn't put all these dotted lines. So, on 21, I'm going to put a dot. On 31, I'm going to draw a line. On 34 and a half, I'm going to draw a line. On 45, I'm going to draw a line. And then on 49, I'm drawing a dot. Again, you're drawing, you're joining your box. And then you're extending your whiskers. So what I'm showing you is you don't need to have all these lines. But you need to clearly have a number line. So whether your number line is on top of the box or at the bottom of your box and whiskers, you have to have this number line. This number line is very important. If you don't show this number line, you're going to get it wrong. Let us do another one. Again, we're going to work with our measure of dispersion that we had previously worked with. Now, if we take this one, we had 21 as our lowest and 80 as our highest. 21 is our lowest and our highest was 80. 
then we have to do q1 q2 q3 our q1 was 32 our q2 was 45 and our q3 was 55 so remember we've got all this from our previous video where you had calculated it now let us draw it on 21 you can estimate that's what I'm showing you most of the time in the exams the number line is already given for you all you have to do is now plot it on there then we've got 32 as our first box we've got 45 as our second box we've got 55 as the third one and then we have 80 as our dot now we're going to join the box and you got your box and whiskers now it's advisable that you write your q1 q2 q3 but usually they do know this so you won't really lose marks by not putting it in I prefer putting it in but you really don't have to but remember the more information you give the more they have to mark sometimes when you don't give enough information and they're looking for it then at least they can find it on your information on top thank you for watching